all right so this is one number three against tcn so for this war my team is going to be uh shuri hood and quicksilver we will be taking part number eight again and this time we are not drinking odin so that means uh, my alliance mate is gonna put the odin tree fights for me on this adam warlock fight and then we will be taking all the path fights with hood and then we have a few mini bosses which we will be taking with uh, quicksilver and then this boss with shuri so starting with the first fight it's adam warlock on snowballing fury and for this fight or like for the, all the hood fights i have md3 and i'm using the biggest class boost so here the plan is to just go invisible power steal him and this is gonna stop his natural power gain which he gets and then cycle couple sp2s and then after the second sp2 just use a heavy attack and finish the fight so oh, here we just charge the heavy attack the fight is down it took like 20 seconds or something then we move on to the next fight which is a seven star rank to gladiator so for this fight my plan was again go invisible but try to push him to a special two and uh, the only thing you have to consider like remember in this fight is that whenever he throws that sp2 uh, he also gains a vigilance buff that means he ignores miss so in case you have that invisibility just don't you know let go of your block and eat it eat the sp2 so he gains the vigilance buff i just block the first part of special 2 and then we just go on and use another special 2 and then we heavy charge on 35 seconds is all it took and we go on to the next fight so these first three fights were done in the same advanced power boost which was nice <coughs> so for this storm my initial strategy was to gain some bullets initially with invisibility and try to use my special tool with maximum prowesses on her but it didn't go as planned and uh, sometimes when she had a lot of prowesses uh, she just threw that sp1 and whenever she throws a special one that means at the end of the special she will be consuming all those prowesses so it's a bit of a slow fight because now i'm, a, I'm at zero bullets that means uh, I just have to like it, it it would just take me like a while to finish off this fight and slowly i'm also trying to like gain some bullets and most of the times like my hits will be glanced and that's just gonna like elongate the fight a little bit but other than that uh it's a fairly simple fight it's just you know it's just gonna take a while so initially my hex is like expired on its own and I couldn't heavy charge and somewhere I guess after this invisibility I will be taking a combo over here which was pretty bad <coughs> and since she also has that overwhelming odds uh, note that means uh, whenever she gains buffs poor buff uh, attack increases by 50 percent i will be taking like a lot of block damage as you saw on that sp2 so it's a bit of an irritating fight i would say like over here she gains those four prowesses but i'm not at a special two and she uses a special one that means she's gonna consume all those prowesses so <coughs> all in all i guess I wouldn't take this fight with Hood in the like coming up wars like if I see the stomachs but we eventually got her down without giving a death so that's all what matters. So here I'm gonna use another power start one which I will be using on the next fight also. So against this gore on force of will and rich gets richer we have more buffs than him that means we will be gaining more power and here the plan is get to a special tool just use it 
and uh, somewhere here like he he went a bit defensive initially but we managed to use a special two over there but over here again he was a bit defensive and due to rich gets richer i got pushed to a special three which was not a big deal but it just like increases the fight time so over here we just detonate all those sexes and here i'm just trying to bait a special two i will be taking all of it on the block because this is my last hurt fight so i don't mind losing some health and over here again like he was a bit defensive so he was just not ready to dash in so i could do a heavier attack but we finished off with a special two so we go on to our first mini boss which is this shuri on node 43 which is uh, insult to injury hazard shift incinerate and shock and also aggression prowess so for this fight we will use quicksilver and over here i initially start with a heavy so that i can gain some more momentum like momentum faster and i am also using a power start one which would mean that uh, i could get to 300 momentum faster and once i'm at 300 momentum i can ignore her miss effect so silver is a good option for this fight because of his hit counts on his combo you can control a lot of uh, aggression powers charges and uh, the only thing which you have to be careful about is so uh, if you have a lot of incinerate debuffs or uh, try not to block a lot because the block proficiency it decreases with incinerates and for this fight i had like max inequity and another good thing about quicksilver is that uh, at 600 or more uh, momentum charges uh, you can parry her so that's actually a very clutch thing because parrying shuri is, is a task and like not a lot of defenders parry projectiles and or like non-contact hits so this way like he just makes this fight a bit more easier i guess and now we have like eight incinerates and we just like if you just see like we take a lot of block damage over there so that's the only thing like you know which makes this fight a bit scary and uh, once we were in terminal velocity we just used a medium light medium into sp1 and that finished off the way so next up is note 47 werewolf by night and it's on feet of vigilance return policy and power efficiency so werewolf is a tactic defender that means uh, you will be putting a lot of debuffs and uh, quicksilver seems to be a very good option for this fight because uh, uh, you can control the, the unstoppable uh, counter the miss effect from the node and also like just finish off the fight faster i believe and uh, here the plan is just to do a party heavy initially and then sp1 and like sp2 and terminal velocity the only thing you have to con like know about werewolf is whenever he dashes back he uses a heavy or a special he can trigger his howl that means it's it will give him an unstoppable unblockable for 3.5 seconds and also some power gain which is not an issue because we will be reversing those that power gain so one minute into the fight we are in terminal velocity we have 30 whip lashes we use a special two it doubles up those whip lashes to 60 and once they expire he's just dead a fairly simple fight i would say so next up is a difficult fight according to me because uh, this mysterio had a start focus of uh, physical resistance so we will be using an invulnerability boost and it's a stunning deflection and brute force so basically we cannot 
and also polka dot power so basically we cannot parry we're not gonna gain any power and uh, we just have to like take him down with our basic hits so quicksilver i have uh, a safety net that in case i get parried or uh, it will be shrugged off or purified and uh, i can get out of that stun but uh, it also has a drawback that it has a like cooldown so in case i get parried again before the cooldown ends uh, i will not be shrugging that off so with quicksilver like he's text immune so basically you will not be triggering any unstoppable so my plan is here to just do basic hits uh, bait out sp ones once i'm above 300 momentum i can also bait out sp twos so my plan is to get to terminal velocity faster and this way detonate my whip flashes which should do a lot of damage but since he has that physical resistance uh, and quicksilver's whip flashes are physical so he won't be like taking a lot of that whip flash damage as, I, as much as i expected him to take so again we are running max inequity so that like we reduce that block damage and in this fight you just have to stay aggressive so that like over here if you saw with 57 whip flashes we did like 164k damage which i thought was way less than like it should be because of probably the physical resistance and that was the safety net i was talking about which was <laughs> getting stunned so luckily we got stunned during the terminal velocity that means like we got a cooldown like that cooldown timer gets reduced during terminal velocity so that was a nice thing and over here again my terminal velocity has ended so right now i will not be countering his miss but here once we reach 300 again i can counter that so the fight is nearly down and uh, we managed to get a solo out of it so it's all good so we have this last fight which is a photon boss and i will be using shuri with an invulnerability boost just to be safe so my fight plan over here is just like since my shuri is awakened i can block unblockable specials so my fight plan is just to ramp her up and uh, then if she gets to her pure light form and if she throws a special just take everything on the block and uh, in, like if she is not in a pure light form just like I could take the specials or I could just also take them on the block that's like a situational thing I believe like over here she's not in pure light form I just decided to not risk it and block everything so yeah, the plan plan is just to like build up your matrix charges by parrying the special like basic hits and uh, just throw sp ones i'm running max and equity for this fight and also max uh, energy resistance so that i can take like as least damage as possible so since it's also 27 star rank to photon it's not gonna be that bad of a fight because so uh, i guess she needs maxic for like being a more annoying defender or for like more block penetration or more block damage so whenever she's not in pure light form i'm just indexing her sp once and i am also trying to just bait out sp once because sp2 has a thing where like after her sp2 she goes untouchable for some time so i just wanted to avoid that because i didn't feel like you know wasting my time around that so she's again in pure light form we take everything on the block and the fight is going really well like i didn't expect it to go that well because it, it's just a it's just a mental thing like you have to follow which is not to dig so specials during pure light form that's it 
if if you are able to do that it's a fairly simple fight and we finish off the fight in like 2 minutes which is quite nice and this was it for my war unfortunately we lost this war by one death so ggs to tcn and i hope you guys enjoyed the war and make sure to like and subscribe and see you in the next one